Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use the free DaVinci Resolve video editing program to create title intros for your videos. Now this works great with YouTube where you want a bright thumbnail, making it easy for people to see what your video is about. Now we're going to recreate what you see on the screen here. This is a title that I used on one of my videos and I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. Once you see how to do this, you'll be able to recreate almost any title you want. So let's get started. First thing you want to do after you download and install the DaVinci Resolve is click File and New Project. Give your project a name and then click Create. After you click Create, go to File, come down to Project Settings, and make sure the settings here match your project. For example, if it's a 1080p, make sure that this is set to 1080p. Make sure the frame rate is right. Make sure the video format is correct. And if you like what you have, click Save or click Cancel if it's already there. Next thing you want to do is to start recreating that title we had before. And the first thing we had was a solid color background. In order to do that, we come over to the toolbox. We choose Generators. We scroll through until we see Solid Color. We select Solid Color and we drag it onto the video track right there. There's the Solid Color. It shows up pink right here, but it really isn't pink. If I double click it, you can see over here under the Inspector, we can go in and change the color. In this case, we're going to change the color to something other than black. We'll just choose this green color right here for the time being, and then we click OK. Now we want to add a title. To add a title, we come back over to our toolbox. We click Titles. I just want to add a regular text title, so I drag it up onto the next video track, and then I click the title box, and when I do over here in our inspector, we can go in and make changes. So I want that first title to be the word Grow. I'm going to select all the letters. I'm going to choose the font family. In this case, I want it to be a Boris font. Now that I have the font, I want to change the size of it. And the way we change the size is we use this slider bar right there. And then once I've changed the size, I want to change the position. And to do that, I use this position slider right here, go up or go down. I think I want it right up there. And while we're looking at this text, let's go ahead and scroll down and turn on the stroke. The stroke is the outline. And we're going to turn that up to a 3 or 4, something like that. And that looks pretty good. Now we could also turn on a shadow if we want to drop shadow if we wanted to, but we're not going to. Okay, that's our first line of text. We're going to add another line of text. So what we do is in our video track, if we don't have another track, we just click Add Tracks and it'll put one there. Come back over to our toolbox. We make sure Titles is selected. We grab text, drag it up there. And like before, we select the text box. We come over to the inspector, type in the new text, and we're going to select that text. We're going to choose the font family. In this case, we're going to use a, a Biba New font. We want to uh, increase the size of it. And like before, we scroll down, find size, make it the size that we want. And I think I want it just about right there. I want to change the color. I want to change the color to black. Click OK. I'm going to, to change the position. We're going to go down just a little bit. I should note that I'm using this on a compressed screen for my screen capture program. If you were doing this full screen, all these tools over here would be available to you without having to scroll. Now that we have those two fonts, Grow Your Income With, I want to put the Patreon graphic there. And the way you do that is you download it from the web, and it is an image file. To add an image file, you go to File, Import Media. You find that image file you want, and there it is right here. And click Open. It shows up in my media pool. And since I'm going to put it above this, I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a track, and there's that track right there. And then I'm going to go up here and drag that object from the media pool onto our screen. And what I need to do is resize it so it fits the screen. To do that, I click this, and over on the zoom, I reduce the zoom until I get the size that I want. I come down and I change the position right there. I think I need to make it just a little bit smaller, so I'll go back to my zoom and make it just a little bit smaller. We may make it larger later on, but that's where I want it right now. Now, the problem we have here is we have a green background. We have the Patreon logo with the orange background, and it doesn't really go with the title. So what we want to do is change this green background to that orange, but we don't know what color that orange is. But that really isn't a problem, because what we can do is go down to our video track here. That's the solid color. Select it. On the inspector here, it shows the color. I click the color. I move the box over so I can see the Patreon, and then I choose Pick Screen Color. And there it is right there. And I like that, so I click OK. And now it looks like what we have. Now I can move things around to get a little bit better positioning. But you get the idea. It's fairly easy to work with DaVinci Resolve. All the tools are there that you need. It's easy to adjust things. It's easy to add more clips to the rest of your video out of here and add all your cuts and edits and dissolves. 
Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Again, this is the DaVinci Resolve, and it's a free video editing program. It's really, really easy to use. It's reliable. It hasn't crashed on me. It works great. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.